Hi. That ain't green. Huh? Hi, Coasted's installed. Coasted, whatever. Coast. Yeah, I, th I think it's working good now. What? You need to move your hair. You look like an old man who has a comb over and it. it's shoved down. <laughs> oh, yes. Tim, you're such a nice guy. <laughs> I'm trying to make you look sexy when you go for your ride. I'm just trying to help you out. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sink. Okay. Am I forgetting? Nothing. Hopefully. What's the clapping for? What? What's the clapping for? I have to sync the camera and the audio. Oh my goodness, this bike is so small. So welcome, Yogi Clan. Gear. Doesn't have any more gears. I can't see behind me. So Yogi Clan, I thought this would be a fun moto blog, but dang, this bike won't go past third gear. Okay. This is weird. hurt my neck <laughs> so I thought I'd have fun and bring you a uh, moto vlog on something different but oh, it does have five gears doesn't feel like it though two Anyways, I thought I'd bring you a moto vlog on something different. The 2006 R6S. And it, you can't really wear glasses with this bike. Because my glasses are at the exact level I need to see. And dang, this thing is loud. It was kind of fun. So, we got the bike running, we got a new brake on it, it is a Hayabusa brake, and we got a Victory headlight on it. So things we still need to do, we need to replace the instrument cluster here, and here's his run start swap, stop switch. We need to fix that and do that. But I thought I'd bring you a moto vlog from the R6. I don't know if you can hear me or not. it is loud as all get out kind of fun but dude my like legs are cramped up to my chest <laughs> definitely not the stretched out feel of a Harley that's for darn sure but it's running I can't tell if there's a cop behind me because I can't see out of these little mirrors There you go, now I can see. Sort of. Let's fix this mirror. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I can see out of the mirrors. Now I can tell if there's a cop behind me. <laughs> so what's new in life? Well, I dropped two kids off at college. Well, really one. The other one took herself. And as soon as she gets there, her car breaks down. 
go figure. A uh, water pump, or a water hose rather. Coolant hose, there we go. Her coolant hose, spring leak. So that car is going to go into the shop this week. Hopefully it'll get fixed. Make sure we're not leaking any brake fluid. All right, right hand turn. The back turn signal works, the front does not. So we'll, we'll signal with the hand. Oh God, oh, 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 oh. oh gosh, this thing leans you so far forward. I'm not used to that. Let's see if the Harley guy waves. Go! Oh, he kind of waved. That was a weak wave though. Very weak wave. Not a bad bike, definitely an around town bike. Would not want this for a long ride. I am way too cramped up and way too scrunched up. R6S, I, I expect the S is for sport. I don't know. But I told him I named his bike. We're gonna call this bike Frankenstein. I told him I was gonna take Frankenstein for a ride. <laughs> Do a moto vlog from Frankenstein. I now see why people lean on the tank. Or put their arm across the tank like, you know, like that. Because <laughs> this would kill my lower back for any extended period. And any claw, I need to fix my glasses again. My glasses keep sliding down my nose, and then the top of the frame of the glasses blocks my view. Hey, Moomoos! <laughs> All right, right turn, Clyde. Push that over. Right turn. Maybe I never turned off my turn signal after we ran around the turn. That's the other thing I'm not used to. Harleys, they turn off themselves. This doesn't. But the thing that I noticed that's really cool about this bike is when you pull over and you stop and uh, you put the kickstand down and it turns off. It turns off the bike when you put the kickstand down. Really kind of cool little feature. I guess it thinks, okay, you're done. Put the kickstand down, kill the engine. So it's got a kill switch on the kickstand. Never seen that before. It's got, it does not have a muffler. It just has uh, the header pipes and the straight little tips. So it's loud as snot. Had I had this done in time, I probably would have ridden it to Iron Saturday. <laughs> That would have been fun. Well, I'm going to tell them to come pick it up tomorrow because, you know, it's it's, a, it's good. And, and the license tag's expired. And the license tag does not have a, a light. So technically, it probably won't pass inspection. But you shift and it doesn't sound like it shifts, you know? Like third, fourth gear, fifth gear RPM all sounds exactly the same. I was kind of surprised after the first time. I was like, oh, I'm in fifth. It felt like I was stuck in third. So the kids are off at college. The other kids are doing, uh, what do you call it? like remote learning because their schools are not open. I'm having a feeling North Carolina maybe October, November may shut down again depending upon you know if we see another spike in illnesses because of school or, or whatever because not you know some of these local schools they're back in session but Cabarrus County for our kids is not. Had a buddy come down from Virginia today. We put a car tire on his Ultra. He decided to go dark side. 
Got to spend the weekend with Mama at the beach last weekend. That was pretty awesome. Orphan Run is two weeks out. Next weekend, we got a thing with Hellfighters Motorcycle Ministry. We're going to partner with them to do a homeless feeding. So lots of stuff going on, man. Lots of stuff. So life's been good, you know? I made a ghost video, a ghost hunting video. But the job that I did it on has a non-disclosure agreement. So I figured in case somebody recognizes the building, uh, I could get in trouble for that. So I had to pull that video down. It was a 30 minute alone challenge in the basement of this building. But I figure uh, after that job's done, I'm gonna repost it back up. It was a fun video. Some of you caught it, some didn't. Posted up a video about a dirt track racing we did for CMOU. That was a lot of fun. We had a blast at that. Went to uh, New Bern, North Carolina for uh, a bro weekend. I need to make the video of that. Got some good video footage, some good pictures. Had fun at the beach. Was not able to take the Ultra down there because I didn't get it finished in time. But the Ultra is fixed. Bertha. Oh yeah, I came up with a name for it. <laughs> the Ultra Limited is now called Bertha. Her name is Bertha. So I got Bertha done. Rode her today for a while. And uh, felt good to be back on that bike. Mom and I might go out to dinner and take the bike tonight. So life's been pretty good, y'all. And I hope you guys have been staying healthy and doing well. And I just thank you all. All the subscribers out there who've been watching my videos, I just want to say thank you. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I am truly thankful for each and every one of you. Uh-oh, gravel. Gravel on the road. Watch the gravel. This bike is fun, but... Yeah, I couldn't do it for a daily ride, heck no. But it is fun now. And it is a true Frankenstein bike. Sorry bro, I'm gonna make you deaf. It's loud as heck. No cops behind me, we're good. Front brake works marvelous. I just need to get the instrument panel cluster working and get the uh, start stop switch working but I think uh, you know maybe we'll do that this winter there you go yogi clan have an awesome weekend love you guys peace watch this See, bike running. Put the kickstand down if I can find it. Oh, there it is. The kickstand down. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Later.